It's no secret that we love our tomatoes. It's the most popular summer crop by far. But do you love your tomatoes a little too much? In this video, I'm gonna show you five ways that you could be killing your tomatoes with kindness. And stick around to the end. I'm gonna give you a tip on where to go to find everything you need to know about growing tomatoes successfully. Okay, let's get into the list. The first way you could be killing your tomatoes with kindness is giving them just as much warm sunshine as they can handle. The problem is they can't handle as much as you wanna give them in some places. Now, while in the north, they can take as much sun as you can dish out. In the central part of the country or the south, too much sun could be a major problem. If you live somewhere where it gets in the upper 80s, 90s, and into the 100s for extended periods of time, you want to give your tomatoes a little bit of shade. Some afternoon shade would help them in many ways. When tomato plants go through extreme heat, they stop setting fruit. They start dropping their flowers. Any green fruit that's on the plant already will just not ripen. But the worst thing about heat, especially when combined with humidity, is disease. Most fungal diseases thrive in heat and humidity. Giving them some shade will help them get through this, but something else can help even more. Which brings us to the second way you might be killing your tomatoes with kindness, and that is not wanting to heavily prune them. Pruning your tomatoes heavily where you can see right through them is the best way to handle fungal disease. It's gonna help them out a lot in hot, humid weather. It's gonna increase the airflow through the plant, allowing leaves to dry a bit, therein making them less susceptible to disease. You can start by taking any kind of growth that's touching the ground and clipping them back. Any leaves that touch the ground, there's fungal spores in the ground that can get on the leaves and bring that disease into the rest of your plant. The next thing to take off is any leaves that are yellowing or look diseased. The plant is done with these anyway. There's no real reason to keep them on the plant. The next thing you wanna do is look for suckers, and that is where a leaf meets the stem. So this right here growing out of what I call the armpit, you just wanna take that off. You can actually root this in water and have a whole new tomato plant. And that's the thing. If you allow this to grow, it's just gonna produce a new plant off the side. But as a sucker, it's not gonna produce that much fruit and it's gonna produce a lot of leaves that this plant has to support instead of putting its energy into making more fruit. You guys have seen me wearing these sleeves for about a year now, and I've gotten lots of questions about them. These are from Farmer's Defense. I use them for sun protection. These keep the sun off my arms and actually make my arms cooler than if I was wearing short sleeves. They also protect against irritants like squash leaves. They come in tons of colors and patterns and have matching sun hats and gloves. This hat has held up better than any other straw hat I've ever worn. And they plant a tree with every order. I love that. If you want to give Farmer's Defense a try, I have a link and a discount code in the video description. The next way you might be killing them with kindness is over fertilizing them. More tomatoes get sick and die from overfeeding versus underfeeding. Over fertilizing with nitrogen can lead to way more leaves and stems than a plant actually needs, leading to just more leaves to prune off or get diseased. Now, if you just stick with organic fertilizer, it won't overfeed nitrogen to your plants automatically, but synthetics will. Focus on fertilizers with a higher middle number than a first number. Phosphorus and potassium, the last two numbers, are for good fruit and root development. The first number is nitrogen, and that leads to excessive green growth. The next way you might be killing them with kindness is just letting them do their thing. We all know that works with kids, right? A tomato left to do its thing will just ramble on the ground, picking up those spores, getting diseased, and you'll never even see the fruits. Your pests will, and they'll be under the shade and the shelter of that huge vine, just eating all your fruit out from under you. One big way you might be killing your tomatoes with kindness is going out on a really hot day and giving them a nice spritz of some cool water. Sounds great to us, but again, you're wetting the leaves in warm weather, inviting disease. Do we see a theme here? If you wanna know everything there is to know about growing tomatoes and getting a huge harvest this summer, watch this video right here. I put it out four years ago, and it is still the number one how to grow tomato video on YouTube with close to 12 million views at this point. So give it a click and become a pro. I'll see you guys next time.